The U.S. government's no fan of Edward Snowden, leaving him in limbo in the transit section of Moscow's airport. Snowden faces charges in the U.S. for his alleged unauthorized disclosure of classified information and theft of government property while serving as a contractor for the NSA. What do Americans themselves think? A newly released poll by Quinnipiac University asked, is Snowden a traitor or a whistleblower? More than half, 55% said whistleblower. Just 34% said they considered him a traitor. This was true across all demographic groups except black voters who were more likely to see him as a traitor. With regards to anti-terrorism policies, you can really see a shift in attitude when you look at the responses to the question, has the government gone too far in restricting the average person's civil liberties? In 2010, just 25% said the government had gone too far. Now that number's up to 45%. So it would seem obvious where the public falls on the question, do Americans support or oppose the federal government's program for collecting phone records? But not so fast, more than half of Americans support the program. 42% oppose it, yet when asked if the program is too much of a Yes, it is. So while we await the fate of Edward Snowden, Americans are uncertain where their government should draw the line in protecting safety versus safeguarding privacy and are highly divided on the issue. That's the short answer.